I'm Jay Alexander. I'm a magician and mentalist. Being an entertainer is all I've ever done. At 11, I was performing at other kids' birthdays. At 13, I was a featured entertainment at my own bar mitzvah. What I love most about performing is when I can get an audience to let go and they're willing to play along. There's trust that is built and barriers just fall away. It's a connection that is so special. I went on to perform for the Rolling Stones on three US tours. I've done many private events for celebrities like Robin Williams, Danielle Steele, and Steve Wozniak. But then COVID happened. It was devastating. I went from the number one show of any kind in San Francisco to being scared and insecure about my future. I thought entertainment like this and theater might be dead. I saw a lot of my entertainer friends that they got worried and started complaining so I decided that I needed to shift my mindset. I had to make something happen. I invited 100 people to a free show on Zoom. I had no idea if this would work. I was scared of embarrassing myself, of being bad. It seemed like I should wait to make this the perfect virtual show. Or I could just dive in, maybe be bad. But I'd learned. I had to check my ego at the door and give myself permission to maybe fall flat on my face. I knew that to truly be good, I just have to do it. Learn from my mistakes and move on. I did that first show and I realized a number of things. The most important was that people desperately needed connection. And even though this medium, it's not perfect. It's strangely wonderful. Entertaining over Zoom is not live theater or TV or YouTube. It's a hybrid, it's its own thing. That personal connection that I love, well, that was lost, I thought. But in this format, you see, I get to see everyone. It's in a grid, but I see them. I see them laughing together and shooting each other, that astonished look. It's a new playground and it can be really fun. In some ways, it's more personal than in theater. You see, I see inside of everybody's homes. I see the chicken soup for the soul book sitting on the shelf and the dirty dish left on the table in the corner. I have learned that magic can be done virtually through the screen. I asked some people in this community to try an experiment to show you. I hope you enjoy. Here's some magic with San Francisco and Bay Area locals. Fiona, I just sent you a text and if you can take a look at your phone, and you'll see that there's a picture that I sent you. Take okay. a look at that picture, if you will, please. All right. And if you could open it up big and show it to the, to the camera. All right. And okay. it's, it's just a picture of, of me. Perfect. Now, what we're going to try is I'm going to have you think of a number. But I want you both to look at the picture for a second and then look back at the camera. Okay. And I know it's just a photo of me, but what's going to happen is very strange. Michelle, if I asked you to name hearts, clubs, spades, or diamonds, what would you pick? Pick one now. Uh, hearts. Hearts. And Fiona, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, pick one now. Eight. Eight of hearts. You could have picked whatever you wanted, but you guys picked together the eight of hearts. I want you to take the, your fingers and make the picture bigger. Look at the eyes of the photograph and you'll see something very strange. Oh my God. In your eye? No. Oh yeah, show it to the camera so everyone can see. Hold it close up. Get a look closer if you can. It's the eight of hearts, your card. That is so cool. 
we're going to play a little game, the word association game that people play quite often where somebody says a word and, and you say that first word that comes to your mind. And we're going to do it four times. I've never done this with two people, but we're going to try. Okay. I'll say a word, then Fiona, you'll say a word. I'll say a word, then Michelle, you say the first word that comes to your mind. I wrote down something on this piece of paper. I'm going to try to reverse engineer the game to see if I can influence you to pick the word I want. This is almost like a verbal Rorschach test. Here we go. I'm going to say the word chicken. Fiona, what is the first word that comes to your mind if some, you hear the word chicken? Egg. Egg. You said egg, so I'm going to think breakfast, which Michelle makes you think... Pancake. Pancakes. You said pancakes, so I think of a, a smiley face, because I would always take my whipped cream and make a smiley face on a pancake. When, if I think smiley face, Fiona, you know, that makes you think... Happy. Happy. So we started with one word, and we got to the word happy. Do you think I could have influenced you to you say the word happy? Maybe. Let me show you something. This has been in view the entire time. And I wrote down, before we started, the word... Ah! <laughs> what? I have with me these weather icons. And um, there's like lightning and nighttime, and they're just little weather icons. We're right. going to play a game. Okay. Here we go. Are six different icons and six cards that match them. Now, to predict the weather, this is all you're going to do. I'm going to take one of the weather icons. I'm going okay. to go across these. And you can think it's one, two, three, four, five, or six, or the sun, the moon, the lightning, the tornado, the wind, or the clouds. Which one, use your intuition, do you think this one is? Hmm. My intuition tells me this one is lightning. Lightning. Interesting you would pick that. A free choice. You are correct. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. We're going to make this more difficult. We're going to do five more. Sun, wow. moon, or night. Tornado, wind, or clouds. I'm going to go with sun this time. Good choice. Which one would you like now? Uh, let's go with wind. Wind. Cloud. Clouds. It could be tornado. Or the tornado, moon tornado. Yeah, tornado. Tornado. And then moon. Here's the thing. We can keep those there, or I could change any two you would like. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with my first instinct. Let's keep them there. That is why you're the amazing meteorologist that you are. Because let me show you. Sun is correct. Oh, moon and stars are correct. Tornado <laughs> is correct and wind and clouds are correct. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, he could influence all those other people, but can he influence me? Let's try something. And for this, I will need your participation. In a moment, you're going to place your finger on the screen. Be ready. You will notice there are 16 different baseball cards. These are baseball cards for the 1958-59 San Francisco Giants seasons. You'll notice that half of them have red backgrounds and the other half have blue backgrounds. What I would like you to do is take your finger and place it on any blue background baseball card. Go ahead, do it now. I'll wait. Fantastic. Now, what I would like you to do is you're going to move your finger either to the left or right, ending up on the nearest red baseball card. Go ahead, do it now. Great. Now you're going to move up or down to the nearest blue baseball card. Go ahead. Fantastic. Now this time you're going to move diagonally to the nearest red baseball card. Great. Now you're going to make one last move. For this move, you're going to either move 
to the right or down to the nearest blue baseball card. Go ahead. Fantastic. Now, I don't know where you began, so there shouldn't be any way I can know where you ended up unless I influenced you. Keep your finger there. Look at the baseball card. Read the name to yourself. Great. You will notice all of the baseball cards will fade away except for one because you are on Willie Mays. Oh, yeah. The job of theater is to shift perspectives. At its core, theater for me is about, can you take people's minds away and give them something that makes them connect and think or laugh or have tears of joy or hopefully all of the above. Life, it always has obstacles. COVID is just one of them. Shifting has always happened in theater. We went from vaudeville to silent films to talkies. This is nothing new. Here's what I've learned since COVID happened. People, they always want to be entertained. Success will come if you're willing to fall flat on your face and learn from it. An opportunity lies in being able to shift.